Hey there, to the Gundit73 making a comparison video for Knife Talk, and this will be a comparison between a 21 and a regular Savenza. Now, um, regulars have been out of production since like 2008, and that's when 21s came around. Um, the interesting thing with the 21 is that's what sort of the first Chris Reeve knives looked like. You know, the very early Savenzas look a lot similar to the 21. So, um, basically, some of the, the first differences I noted between these two knives. This is a box for a regular, and this is a box for a 21. You can notice that the 21 is uh, shorter, and I think the reason they did that was because if you want to fit this in the USPS Priority Small Box, you're going to have to take the box apart. This is flat enough, so it just, just barely fits in the box without having to be folded. They probably... Saved a lot of money on shipping them that way. Oh, sorry for the bump. And you also notice that um, you know, this says 21. That does not. Um, in terms of birthday card differences, um, this is the regular card. And let me get the 21 out. The 21 card. So in terms of birthday differences and whatnot, you can see this is actually a fairly late regular made in 2008. But uh, some of the main differences here are the steel, the regulars used, first they used BG42 and then they transitioned to S30V in 1991, or 1992 I believe. Oh wait, what am I saying? Not 91. 2001 or 2002. I think it was 2001. The uh, large Sabenza started in S30V and then at the end of um, 2010 I believe they started to transition to S35VN. Is either one better? Um, I've seen some people hating on S35VN, not hating, but it hasn't performed well. I think just like S30V, they have to work out the heat treat just right. When this first came out, there was a lot of issues with it because they did not have the heat treat correct. I think in time, S35VN will prove to be a beloved steel like S30V. Now on to the main differences between the knives themselves. Um, as you can see, the main difference that most people see is on the handle. The regular features these sort of wavy cutouts. Oh, the 21 has a C cutout. Um, personally, I like them both. On a uh, small Sabenza, I tend to prefer the regular because it gives you more room on the handle. Well, this, on large, I can go either way. 21 looks kind of nice. Um, the other interesting thing is you will note how the 21's blade is narrower than the regular's. You can see how on the regular, the blade stays um, open longer. I mean, er, er, uh, I'll just show you. Basically, there's a small bump right here on the regular that makes the hair wider. It's not present on the 21. And if these were the same size, it would be much more pronounced. If this was a large, you could really tell the difference in blade shape. Um, the thumb studs on these are exactly the same. And uh, so... The main difference also with these knives is on the handle, you notice the 21 has this sort of scallop bevel cut right here, and uh, Chris Reeve claims that it makes it easier to insert into the pocket. I've never had a problem inserting this into the pocket, so is it just um, an, ex an insanely slight change to uh, rationalize getting a new knife? Maybe, but uh, not that big of a deal. And also with the 21s, and uh, compared to the old regulars, you can see the new 21s feature the Idaho Made stamp. Um, a lot of people hate that with a passion. Um, for me, it's not that big of a deal. Um, at first, I did not like it, but it sort of grew on me, to be honest. You know, not not that big of a deal. The other thing with these, with the thumb studs, is if you were to go to dual thumb stud lu dual lugs with these. On the 21, they just pop in the double lug, but on the regular, you actually have to grind this lock bar down to give you access to the thumb stud because you can see it's right up against there. And that's another thing with both of these. Is most people will say, oh, I like the 21 better simply because it's easier to open. Um, I will say it probably is easier because you have way more access to the um, lock bar, I mean the thumb stud. And also you do have more access to the lock bar when closing. You can see there's nothing, a lot. 
So that's nice. And, um, I mean, other small differences between current production regulars and, I mean, current production 21s and regulars is how you can see the, uh, the thumb, the, uh, hardware here is, uh, the female side has this, uh, opening in it while the old ones don't. No big deal. And also, internal-wise, that I'm not going to take these apart to show you, 21 features perforated washers while the regulars have solid washers. So, overall, I mean, they're both great knives. I mean, some people say, oh, I only like regulars. Why did Chris Reeve discontinue the regular? It was the best, you know? And it's like, oh, you know, the regular sucks. The 21 is the best. I mean, it's kind of funny how, how it all worked out. I mean, for a while, they were making the regular and the classic. And in 2008, he introduces the Unnam Zan and the 21. It discontinues the classic and the regular. But the regular is still around for annuals, limited editions. So, I mean, it's kind of complicated, but... Either way, I mean, if you really, really, really wanted the regular, you can get an annual, have it look nice. The plain ones are harder to find, but uh, they're still pretty good for EDC. I mean, they're pretty much awesome. But um, what I would someone would I recommend paying more for a regular? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, a 21 is every bit as nice as the regular, just slightly different. You know, I mean, it's ever so slight. Really, I mean... If you, like, if someone were to say, oh, do you want to buy my small regular for $400 to $10? I mean, really get a large for that much, you know. So, I uh, hope that made sense. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate the views. Requests are welcome. I'll see you in the next video.